right beside the Sovereign Barbecue, I've got a fitted table. These tables are made by a company called Nomadic Solutions. Barbie goes, table goes on the Barbie, the table. Got it? The table goes here and it folds up. It's lockable to meet RDA improvements and all that sort of gear. Fold down, cooking the Barbie, somewhere to serve your dinner without having to get a table out or anything like that. All right, now. There's Jack Thunder. How you going, boy? So he's going to help me out with fitting the table to the side of the bus. This is an easy fit up. Screw it on, drop it down. Tomato sauce, barbecue sauce, ketchup, mayonnaise, coffee, tea, beer, rum, bourbon. <laughs> it's all going to go on, isn't it? All right, let's get on to the job. Now I've just put one screw in at the top. Just bam, just to hold it and keep it straight. It comes with really simple instructions and this is really simple to fit. The basic gist of the instructions is put a screw in the top, get it straight, put another screw in. Sorry, rivets. By factory default they use rivets. I'm using screws which suit this particular vehicle, okay? And then you do one on the sides, but what they say is as you do them, just to make sure everything's aligned properly, just continually to test and make sure that your door closes and that it's all nice and straight, okay? So I've got my one screw in there. I'm just going to mark out where my other screws are going to be because I'm using stainless steel screws and I'm going to put some silicon in there as well because I want to make sure it's all going to be waterproof. But if you buy it from uh, the camel people, Nomadic, then follow the instructions. Like I said, I'm only doing it this way to suit this particular vehicle. So on the side of the bus here, that line there I call a no drill line. Now basically what I've done is I've gone inside the vehicle and I've made sure I found out where the 240 volt wires are. This is pretty important if you drill a screw through the body of your vehicle and go through a 240 wire it mightn't be live at the time but later on you might whack on the power zap your whole vehicle's going to light up right even if it's not Christmas. If you've got a trip switch on sure that's going to save your little hiney but it's better just to prevention is the best cure right? Okay, so that's the no drill line, so we know where not to drill. Boy, isn't he? He's a good old boy, isn't he? He loves helping me work too. Jack's worked for nearly 30 years now without a complaint or without really any choice. Now, I know he likes to work because whenever we start up the machinery in the paddock he's just he's right up there. He wants to say what's happening? Can I help? He likes pulling loads, moving. That's what I call a drill. So how good's that, eh? We've got a table on the side of the vehicle, like right along the highway, there's a table. Take your drinks off first before you hit the road, of course. And flick these little stays up before you close the, the table door. It closes up like that. Turn the key, here and there, it's locked into place. How's that? It looks fantastic. It's just like part of the vehicle. You could do your fish scaling there or... Well, anyway, you might not, you know, well, whatever you want to do. Fishing, cooking bearing or oh, set your laptop on there and a table there and you've got an outside desk I've still got my no drill line written on the side of the bus so I'm going to show you now how the nomadic guys with the camel even though I've only got a horse there he is how they fix that so so here's the solution it's one of these musical instruments I don't really want to use it on the bus because Jack thinks I've gone bananas. What this is here, it's got a little double sided sticky tape and it fits in there. So I won't show you how to take double sided sticky tape off, but basically it sits in, into there, like so. There it is, pneumatic uh, tabletop doodang. Closes it up, comes down. Got to go, get hold of one, fantastic. Mm -hmm.